hey everyone so this is going to be my first video as you can see i have three buttons ready in my scene uh, such as red blue and green these are going to be our skins and the value on the top is going to hold our coins this is just a text field that will show how many coins we have currently and the plus icon is going to increment our coins every time we'll tap it so these are just buttons you can create these buttons uh, from the UI they're really simple they have an on click function that we'll be calling every time uh, we'll be tapping on the button so in our shop controller I have some basic stuff ready first of all I gave uh, reference to unity engine dot UI cause we'll be using the text class this particular text class will be holding our coins as it's a serialized field we can simply drag it and drop it inside in our inspector you can see the option in shop controller so this is our coin uh, coin text we just have to give it a reference we can do that by dragging it and dropping it in the shop controller okay so this is a public integer coins this will hold our value the coins value even this is uh, even the public fields are available in our inspector window so in the start function we are going to say that coins are equal to player prefs not get integer coins player prefs are easy and they save our values so over here we'll be saving our coins value and in the start function whenever we'll be starting our game it will get the value so now we are declaring a function which is void so uh, a void function doesn't return a value like if we do if we be doing integer add coins that would have to return some kind of integer so play prefs dot set integer coins what player press dot set integer does is it saves the value of the of our key our key over here is coins and we are setting its value we are incrementing coins by 500 that's why we did coins plus 500 so set integer saves the value whereas get integer gets the value so the thing we called player press dot get integer in our start function we'll be calling it again so we know what what a current coin value is now we would want to show a coin value in a game window so how this how we gonna do this is coins text dot text equals to coins dot to string so what to string does it it uh, changes the in integer value into a string value we are going to do the same thing in our add coins function so it updates the coin value so over here you can see this is our coin text that is holding our coin value in our add coins button buttons on click function we want to call our shop controllers on add coin function in shop controller let's find okay so the function is in public that's why we can't find it let's make the function public first let's select the function and in the start mode in the play game mode you can see now that whenever we'll be tapping our add coins function the value should increment by 500 so now our coins are 1000 as you can see if i'll tap it again it's 1500 if we go back to our play mode you can see yes indeed it saves our coin value because in the start function we said that coins value is equal to player press dot get integer our uh, string key is coins 
so in our script now we need to make three kind of integers for the red one and the blue one and the green one these will tell us if we have purchased a skin or not so the red skin is going to be equal to play press dot get integer red same for the blue one and same for the green one we are just going to change their key keys that our player presses are going to hold so for the red skin the key is red and for the blue skin it's going to be blue and same for the green one so in our red skin function first we are going to say if the red skin is not equals to 0 so in the if statement we are saying that we have already purchased the skin so in the else statement you can see we are decrementing the value of our coins by 200 saying that the value of coins is the value of the red skin is going to be 200 and as you can see we are setting the integer so we are setting the play, uh, the red key as one so every time we'll be calling this function again the else function won't be getting called again as it will end at if statement as you can see in the if statement we are saying if the value isn't equal to 0 and it won't be equal to 0 anymore as we have already set its value to 1 i did the same thing for the blue skin and the green skin now we are going to make an integer which will tell us what our current skin is so let's say if we if the last skin we saved it was red skin so when i start my game again my skin should be red and same for the blue one if i end my game session with the blue skin my uh, in the next session when i start the game again my skin should be blue so that's what current skin is going to tell so we'll going to give the current skin value for every skin so for the red one i gave the value as 1 for the blue skin i gave the current skin value as 2 and for the green one it's 3 now we'll do it, do the same thing in the else statement so when the player purchases it our skin changes that time too now we just want to save the skin value also that's why we are doing player prefs dot set end c skin value as one and same for the other skins once we are done doing this we can test it on the on click function of every skin on the every button for the skin we are going to add its corresponding function so for the red red button it's going to be the red skin button and as the functions are public they should be available so for the red one we'll select the red and same for the other so in our play mode now we can test if you are able to purchase the skins let's see a coin value is 2000 so when i'll tap at blue blue skin a coins are indeed getting decremented by 200 and now yeah so a coins are getting saved and when i'm clicking at the blue skin again it's not the value isn't getting decremented so everything seems to be working but right now we can't tell what skin we are currently on so i just made a text field that will tell us a current skin we we'll, we will be using this text field to show our current skin first let's give reference to our text field <coughs> that is going to show <coughs> our skins sorry so we we just made an array that with different strings an array of strings so for the, the for the zero element of the array we give the value as null then red then blue then green so in current skin current skin text dot text 
what we'll be doing is we are saying that the the skin the skin that our array uh, the value that we will be showing in our text would be the current skin value let's give the reference to our text field which will be showing our skin string now we should be seeing yes so the last skin we selected was green so let's go into the play mode again as you can see yeah so we can see the value it's blue now if we'll be purchasing the red skin let's see in the start mode and yes indeed it's red so in the start mode again yes so it's red so everything is working but in your game you may not wish to show the string value so you can make an array of material or different game objects and that's how you can switch between the game objects or material or you can disable all the other game objects and enable the current skin game object so that's it everyone thank you